Ah, hello everybody, what's up? My name is Riley M, and a welcome to another video. We are on episode 5, I am super excited, holy crap, but we are down here. As I said, I was going to commit to getting an enchantment table, nether portal, all of that, that'll be fun. I'm going to have to mine this, and I hate it. I hate mining obsidian because it takes forever. Uh... But yeah, guys, I will get back to you once I finish this obsidian, but, you know, I am taking face cam out because my editor, like, my editing software is being all pissy about it. It didn't, like, I will put it in other videos, but I think I'm going to switch my editor soon because, like, my, my editing software is, like, really weird. <laughs> I don't know. It, it really doesn't like me putting it there. Like, it just gets pissed. It's just like, why are you recording this? You know, you're ugly. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, guys, I'll get back to you once I finish up this obsidian. Probably gonna have to get around 20 to 30 pieces, so that'll be interesting. I'll see you there. Okay, Jesus, well, about three hours later, we finally grabbed all the obsidian. Jesus, I got 24 fucking blocks of it, so, you know, hopefully that should be, you know, more than enough, which I'm pretty sure it is anyway, so we should be good. Um, we already got the sugar cane farmed. Is we created a nice little farm in the back. I don't know if I showed that in the previous episode. I'm pretty sure I only showed the four animal farms, but we also have a nice little farm in the back there. So we're going to create this enchantment table. You know what I love about this? Is we can actually put this upstairs. Per this is why I made it a one doorway, because there's a middle section in the house, which means we can literally put this right here, and it's in the middle of the room. No issues or anything, and it's perfect. Don't know if we have, like, enough leather yet to make. I'm trying to do the math here. Um, I don't think that's enough leather yet to actually make a... Why? Bed is too far away. Fuck you. Come on, Minecraft. Uh, I don't think we actually have enough... Yeah, that's going to bug me. I'm not going to do the math now, though. We're going to set up this nether portal. Um, there's a glitch that's been going around. I don't know if it's actually a glitch or it's intentionally part of the game. But for some reason, whenever you take... Sometimes when you take the nether portal... I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you have any idea why it does this. But apparently, for some reason, if you set up a nether portal, sometimes it'll like... How do I say this? It creates a portal somewhere else, so when you go back through into the overworld, you're someplace you never built your portal, and it's in, like, a random place. And it's really weird, because that has happened to me multiple times. And I don't... That never used to happen before, so... I don't know, maybe that's just Minecraft doing something, it's a glitch. Don't ask me. I, I don't know, but it just seems kind of weird, because being a person who's played Minecraft for a while, never really seen that happen before. Okay, we're just gonna make this look nice, because I don't want it to look nice. Boom, got him. Uh, okay, let's see here, we got flint steel. Well, let's hope this doesn't absolutely screw us over. By the way, good tip in Minecraft, always keep your flint and steel with you. Because if you don't, I learned this the hard way on the Xbox edition when I played like a long time ago. Gas can deactivate your portal. If they hit it with a fireball, it'll it'll uh, unlight it. Oh my god, okay, we're right next to one. That's great. Did I... <gasps> and another fortress is right there. Oh my god, thank you, Jesus. Um, but yeah, just always keep your flint and steel on you, because gases can, if they hit your... Uh, gas, I don't, I don't know how to say that plurally. That's probably not the correct way to say it either. Um, basically, if they hit your portal with your fireball, they can deactivate it. Which is really weird. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. So, just be cognizant of that. How am I going to get over there? I don't trust myself doing this. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Uh, damn it. There's not really, like, a way you can go around, either. Because there's, like... Jesus Christ. I, I could barely survive in a mine filled with, like, a little lava pool. This is just death waiting to happen. Uh, we could go around. 
I'll hit you guys up once I figure out how the hell I'm going to get to that fortress. Okay, so I just went with the, uh, fuck it, let's just go around strat. I just used dirt blocks to pretty much go around here. I'm a bit nervous, though, because this stuff hurts here. I brought extra food, because I got screwed last time in the mine, and I had to eat rotten flesh and almost died. I'm not even close. I'm not even with, like, 30 blocks of your radius. How can you see me? Okay, game. Jesus, I don't like this. They made, like, the nether bricks darker. That's really annoying. Oh, God. Uh, shit, I don't have coal. Oh, God damn it. Of course, we come unprepared. That's nice. Let's see if we can find any decent chests here. Wow, that was a complete waste of torches. Okay. I could break them, but eh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this opens up to a part where it's like... You can see. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, yeah. Okay, here we go. But, if we look properly... Oh, that's sketch. Uh... Isn't it if you... Oh my god, I almost died. <laughs> Isn't it if you go down these, there's like nether warts? Yup, got it. Perfecto, we need these. Woo! Perfect, and I will take the soul sand that comes along with that as well. That will go somewhere in our farm. I gotta figure out where I want to incorporate that, but... Seems fine to me. We'll just break all the nether warts, and we should be good to make potions. Except for, I do not have a blaze rod yet, but I will soon have one. God, I don't like those things. Uh, I don't have any torches. You know, actually, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure, uh... I, I literally, I went around when I could have just... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, the wither skeletons drop coal. Oh my god, I can't see. I'm pretty sure there's a... Okay, yep. Yep, I can't see. Yeah, it's so dark. Jeez, I have my gamma all the way. Wait, what? Okay, when I used to play Minecraft, that's extremely rare. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. I mean, we're not fighting the weather anytime soon, but I'll take it. Ooh, we got some diamond horse armor. That's pretty cool. I will actually take that chest. Ooh, we can make torches. Yes. Okay, good. See, now, now we can see. I'm sorry. Now we can see. Help out the viewers. Uh, God, you have to, like... You have to, like, CSGO peek every corner. I'm gonna probably start making some CSGO videos. I got some ranked uh, footage I have to sift through. I've got quite a bit of it, actually. I've got quite a bit of it, though, that I can... Uh, I just gotta, like edit it and stuff like that because it's like I don't know I have some moments where it's just like wow this is boring but yeah I've got I've got I've got some good stuff going on so that's perfect for CSGO but yeah I'm not just gonna be making you know let's plays and shit like that I'm actually gonna be also doing other videos as well just I gotta collect enough content for CSGO because one competitive match can just seem kind of boring sometimes so you know I want to make it the most enjoyable for you guys that's my plan Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Shit, it's not regular fence, Riles. This is looking over lava, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, all I want is some. I don't want all of it, and wow, that Minecraft music is getting loud. Yeah, I forgot. This is like the nether, scary, creepy-ass music. <laughs> wow, this is actually really cool. This is perfect. We're getting, like... We're getting some necessities. We get, we, we're getting everything we basically need. I would say all we need to do now is try and make some bookshelves to see what we can get for enchantments. By the way, if anybody's actually tried this, I will show you in the next episode or some episodes further in the future, but there is an actual cheese you can do for the enchantments. Not as in, like, levels cheese or anything, but, like, good enchantments cheese. And if, you know, you're like, oh, well, my enchantments are already god tier, and I, I, you know, I don't need no help getting enchant, well, that's fine. This is just an offering. But, uh, basically, I'll show you how it works, but if you enchant certain, so, I don't know if this is still a thing, if Minecraft has changed it, but from what I've seen, it still works. 
For some reason, Minecraft makes it where gold has an unbelievably good chance to always get good enchantments. Like, no matter what, you will get an amazing enchantment on gold. Like, if it's... Let's see here. If you do a level 30 on, like, a gold chest plate, you could get, like, protection 4 right off the bat. Protection 4 on breaking 3, even. And then what you can do is you can just forge that. Um, you can, like, switch it out and put a book in the enchantment table. And then it will switch it out um, back onto the book. So, like, because it'll think, oh, that's the gold item. And then it'll just put it on the book. And then you can just put the book on your armor. And it's, it's perfect. It's, you know... It couldn't be more perfect. Wow, that actually, it actually worked. We went back through without it, like, duplicating somewhere else. Thank God. I'll probably show you guys something along the lines of that, but... I don't know. I've seen that glitch happen before. I feel like that's not just me, but we'll just have to see. So, yeah, we've got... Ooh, we got a lot of stuff, and we got a wither skeleton skull. So, here's the thing is, like, I didn't even know that was... They had to have upped the drop rates of that, because that is not something you'd find on, like, a normal day of Minecraft. This is, like, back in the day, this was, like, one in, like, 500, if that. It was probably more than that. But, yeah, I mean, I've got one Wither Skeleton head, so... Wait, what am I doing? I should put this on the... I should put this on the bell. <laughs> Would it look weird on the bell? Oh, hell yeah. There you go. Warn all perpetrators that nothing will come into this base. This is my base. But yeah, I am still updating the house, working on everything. I don't know if I... Oh, I do have the second floor done. Well, basically, I just, I'm working on getting that like exterior of the house done as well. I'm probably going to get fences around this. Probably going to have to make it a bit of a thicker layer because if I put fences here, you're probably... yeah. You put fences zigzag here, you're going to get about one block worth of leeway to run. But yeah, I'm going to update this so it's a lot better. I will probably do that in a future episode or off camera because that's kind of boring. But, wow, we got a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got nether warts. Okay. Let's see here. I got a lot of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of this stuff away. I had a spot where I... Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, blocks chest, let's see here, and then what do we want to do for, we should probably make a potions chest, just kind of where we keep potion materials, uh, we'll just put, what, what, what else is, yeah, glowstone is potion material, I don't know where else we'd keep glowstone besides a blocks chest, I guess, but... Um, let's put that in there. Then we're going to head out. We're going to breed some of the animals. Then we're going to implement a part in the farm where we should keep the nether warts because that's important. Bada. Oh, we only got one sheep. Damn it. Wow, there are a lot of sheep in here. Er, <laughs> cows. Ignore that. I'm dumb. Yes, give me the experience, please. Don't walk out. Okay. Let's see here. So, do we have a section we can devote to nether wards? Yeah, we do. We'll probably have to expand this, make it bigger in the future, if I were to guess. Yeah, because... Here's the thing, is, like, a lot of people are like, yo, you can't complete your farm until you got, like, pumpkins and melons. Well, <laughs> pumpkins and melons don't really do anything. I mean, they look cool, you know, when they grow and shit, but you never use them. Like, realistically, you never actually use them. So, I mean, I don't really see what the point is of me getting those. I will probably eventually plant those, but... I don't know, I just don't feel there's a reason to, like, do that ever. Because, you know... <laughs> they provide nothing. For a pumpkin pie, you run for about three seconds and then you're hungry. Same for melon. There's just not really a... Per okay, actually, no, there is glistening melon. Which is for... Healing potions? I don't remember, but I don't believe I have any of those. Yeah, I don't have any of those types of seeds yet. I do have carrots, so we will have to try and get pigs in the farm. But yeah, this is what we've got so far. I'm going to see how much books we can make out of this. We do not have a lot of wood, though. I'll be right back and let you guys know how much books I get out of this and see how many bookshelves we can make to upgrade that enchantment table. Well, surprisingly enough, I ran out of sugar cane. That's kind of weird. Usually... 
Leather's the one I run out of, but it would appear we're actually going to be able to make four bookshelves. Oh no, five, okay. So yeah, that'll be enough for now, at least. It'll get us a little bit. Let's get the dimensions going of it. Uh, bop, 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 uh, bop. There we go. Got those little enchantment particles sucking into the enchantment table. So that's perfect. Getting that set up already. So that's that, that's amazing. We got pretty much cooking up here. We're going to get brewing here as well once I get a brewing stand. I actually forgot to kill a blaze. Damn it. I kind of wish I did now. Uh, I don't know why I put that there. We're going to put this in blocks chest. But yeah, we need some more sugar cane so that we can make some more bookshelves, but actually I'm pretty sure we're set on leather, believe it or not. We should probably actually grab the sugar cane out there that's growing right now, but we're actually pretty set on sugar cane right now. So that's pretty nice. I mean, no problems at all right there. We got sugar cane out the ass, so we just have to wait for it to grow pretty much. Sugar cane grows pretty fast. It grows about two per day. Wait, what? Oh god, this is deep as hell. <gasps> It's a dolphin! Wait, he gave me a buff. Dolphin's grace? Oh, I swim faster. Okay, that's cool. I mean, that wasn't me sprinting underwater. Like, that was literally... What the hell? Why are you spawning here? What's your problem? What are you holding? Are you holding a fishing rod? What the hell? Come here. You just dropped it. I swear he just dropped it. I'm gonna die. Oh god. Ugh. Ow. Hmm. That's weird. Well, he dropped it. I mean, I'll look back on the footage on that, but I'm... Didn't he drop that? Yeah, I don't see it. Huh. Maybe he didn't. I swear to God I saw him drop that. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I, I, I don't know. Well, let's get these last bookshelves set up. Here we go. We got pop, pop. Probably make a few books out of this. It's not going to be an even amount of books, though. Ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba. Shit. Yeah, so we're going to make two more bookshelves. Perfect. Okay, so now... Oh my god, my arm's twitching. Uh, it feels so weird. Okay. Bop. Bop. So now we just need two, four, six... We just need nine more. Nine more? Let's... Nine times three is 27. Okay, so I don't have enough leather. Okay, well, that's fine, because, you know, I've got literally all of those cows right there, which probably need to be collected soon. But I'm going to let them all grow up so I can slatter them for their leathers and meat. But we've got plenty of steak anyway. But, I mean, pretty much right now, we're perfect. So I'll get back to you guys in a second. I'm going to go see what else I can do around here just to make sure we're all set up for the next episode. You know what's funny is, like... So, this morning I was like, I was bored, I was playing some fucking, uh, what do you call it, I was just, I was just recording some content, like, I wasn't, I didn't realize I had my mic muted, but I, like, absolutely lost my shit, because I was just in the middle of a CSGO match, I was just, like, I was hitting these clips, and I was, I was hitting, uh, I got, like, this double no-scope, it, <laughs> I absolutely just lost my shit, and I just fucking... I'm pretty sure I, like, almost woke up, like, fucking everyone in my house, but it was the funniest shit ever, because I, like, when I no-scoped, I... Jesus, okay, we need to move. Uh, basically, this is really dangerous. Um, can you fucking... Shoot me, motherfucker. Stop moving. That's gonna hit him. Oh, got him. Uh, basically, I hit this clip where I no-scoped the chicken for some reason because it was completely off because I'm pretty sure I was moving when I shot it. 
And then I stood still and I shot this guy and I headshot him perfectly while he was midair and I headshot him. And it was a no scope. And then I hit this other guy like far away, which it's actually impressive to hit no scopes that are far away in CSGO because it's really annoying. Because they're really hard to hit sometimes. But like, I'll flash the clip right here, but I mean if you look right here, as you can see I no scope the chicken. And then I just, I, I just no scope the dude and then I hit the other guy and then I... Oh, that was that was hilarious. Okay, so that made a weird. Hey, it's a. You seem brighter than normal. That's probably because of the shader. Okay, okay. Let's let's not. I'm just looking for a blaze because I need a blaze rod so I can get some potions. You're so annoying. Thank God this does area damage. Okay. Wow, I got one magma cream out of that entire, like, 20 different magma cubes. Where did I find that open area with those blazes? Oh god, okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's not, let's not do that, okay. Oh, Jesus. Of course! Why wouldn't you be protected by a fucking wither skeleton? Oh my god. Why wouldn't you be? Why am I making this out of wood? Literally everything that you wouldn't want to place down, I'm placing down in the nether. Screw you. Nope. Screw you. Just give me a blaze rod. Oh, you... Thank you. Jesus. Okay, we finally got it. But yeah, like, I've had those moments where I'm just sitting in my basement and I hit a clip and I just... So what, so what is this? Why are you... Yo, give me the enchant... Give me the achievement. Yeah! We got him! And he dropped a gas tier. Hell yeah. Anyway, uh... I have those moments where I'm in the basement and I just hit this clip and I just lose my, like, I can't, I lose my shit, but then, you know, you look back and forth and you're just like, oh, I'm the only one here and nobody else saw that. And I didn't even get it on recording. Luckily, I got this one on recording, but it didn't have any fucking audio on it, so you couldn't have heard me, like, you couldn't have heard me scream, but it was pretty funny because it was a pretty nice clip, if I'm, like, completely honest, but I don't know, I thought that was pretty funny. Like, I lost my shit. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure in the video, if you actually look, you can see my mouse was shaking after because I was just like, whoa, you know. But, you know, that's that's just me. I'm super over-celebratory about certain things. But, yeah, especially that. That just that just made my day, hitting something like that. But I think it made me laugh at the start and why I missed the no-scope initially because I hit the chicken. That was really funny. That just made me laugh super hard when I just hit that chicken. Because I'm just like, oh, wow. But yeah, I love hanging around in CSGO deathmatch lobbies. They're they're pretty fun because it's just filled with people who just really don't give a shit. And just come to, you know, just screw around. Which is, to be honest, me. So yeah, now we've got... Oh my god, I hear that dolphin. He's so cute! We've got the brewing stand. Perfect. So now we can start making potions. One of them I think I definitely want to make is fire resistance. Definitely. Because... I can investigate lava pits to see if there are diamonds in them sometimes. Which, that oftentimes doesn't work, but, you know, screw it, it actually works sometimes. So, I'm gonna go grab some... Do we have glass? No. Oh, oh, wait, wait, we do. I'm tripping. Miles, you fucking idiot. Uh, okay. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, glass bottles. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I remember playing Minecraft recently. They're powered with blaze powder now. Yep, they're powered with... Damn it. Yeah, well, we'll make we'll make potions in the next video, but we've accomplished quite a bit this video, which is pretty good. I'm, I'm happy that we're just on a roll. We're going. I'm excited. We're going to go check any other items that we can move from this house, and I'm pretty sure we're going to wrap up this episode soon. And I'm pretty sure... I've been saying this every single episode, but my friend will probably... We're going to record a few videos tomorrow. I'm probably going to get two to three videos recorded tomorrow, but I'm going to do it with my friend, and we're going to do it on this server. Uh, but yeah, I'm finally going to bring my friend in here. Are you kidding me? We had 32 books just sitting right here? Oh yeah, it was from the first episode. We went to the fucking village. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Jesus. Oh, god damn it. I didn't even, that didn't even, like, cross my mind. That just, it, it, com well, it just completely crossed my mind. Oh, my lord. God damn it. Are you fucking with me? Okay, well, we can probably finish it now. 
We've wasted all that, well, you know, what do you use leather for, I guess, but still. We used all that damn leather. God damn it. Well, at least now we can make all the damn bookshelves, but still, it's just kind of annoying that I had to do that. Ugh, god damn it. Ugh. Okay, well, let's see how much we can, you know, we're just going to put this, like, right here for now. I don't know what it does, but we're going to put it there. Okay, we're just going to... Ba 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 da ba ba da 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 ba 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 ba. Okay, we just need one more, one more, one more. Ba da 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 da. Boom! We got it, baby. We got it. Uh, we're gonna put books over here, or no? Yes, here. Uh, we got a fortune. Oh, I forgot about that. Ooh, we can put that on this baby right here. Woo! Good. I'm going to do that. Uh, we're going to put that in there. Put some paper right here. I don't know what's supposed to go. Oh, wait, leather. Uh, we got fences. Nope. Fences did not go there, Riles. Jesus Christ. Um, TNT, we'll put that right there. Okay, so we got the nine bookshelves. So the question is, I think what we'll do is I'm going to go to the nether, I'm going to farm some nether quartz, and I will get back to you guys with level 30, and we're going to see how much of an enchantment we can get on this puppy. I'm excited, to be honest, because the, uh, the new enchanting for Minecraft is actually quite nice, if anybody's actually screwed around with it. It's pretty good now. So I'm excited. I think we'll get a pretty good enchantment on that. I'm going to make an anvil because I'm going to put this fortune three on the pickaxe, but not yet. Obviously, you know, because we got to, you know, actually enchant the pickaxe first. Duh. Um, fuck it. We'll put it here. Um, we're going to put that there and I will get back to you guys once I am level 30. See you there. Okay. Hello. I am back after about three to four crashes i am back for some reason my computer has been crashing in the nether for some reason by the way if you're wondering what my secret is to getting 30 levels mine courts in the nether it's like one of the best ways to get experience in the world but yeah we are ex we are literally perfectly exactly at 30 so i only had to mine like a little bit of quartz wasn't that bad i'm gonna make these into blocks and then i'm going to enchant and see what we can get I'm excited because I think I'm actually going to get something really good from this. Please tell me we have lapis. Okay, we do. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take this upstairs and see what we get. I don't even, I don't even want to look. I don't want to look. Just click it. Okay, well, efficiency would have been nice, but I'm not going to complain. Now, my question is, can we combine the two to make fortune three? Are you going to be nice enough to let me do that, game? Or no? Please let me do that. Here, wait, shit. I need a... Because I'm pretty sure there is a Fortune 3. Really? Come on. Damn it. Okay, well. Fortune 2 is good enough for me anyway. Because, you know, I can just mine diamonds and get a shit ton. So I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I can get an efficiency book in the future. And I'll be okay. And what else did we get? We had a we had a silk touch book, didn't we? Yeah, I'm not gonna put that on this because that would be an absolute pain. Wait, does fortune work with silk touch? So if I if I mine diamonds with it, would I get two blocks of diamond? Not like made of diamond, but like the diamond ore. I don't know. That's an interesting question. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next one. Friends will likely be joining. I will see you there. Bye bye.